Final Cut Pro for the iPad got finally the biggest update since it came to the update. So in this video, I will go over all of the things that they added to Final Cut Pro on the iPad. The first one is turn snapping on and off with your keyboard shortcut N. So it's basically this icon you can just use now the keyboard shortcut N to turn on and off. Snapping is basically like this that your playhead here snaps to the next position. Next one is move the playhead backward and forwards for 10 frames using the keyboard shortcut shift left arrow and shift right arrow. So normally with lift left arrow and right arrow you go frame by frame but if you hit shift left you can go 10 frames to the right on 10 frames to the left. If you select any clip and you hit control I on your keyboard you will open the inspector for that one clip. So the next one is turn on and off skimming with the keyboard shortcut S. So now I have my mouse here and skimming is off so I don't see anything if I just move my mouse. But if I turn S on you will see where my pointer is I can see now the timeline. So I don't have to grab this one here. If I grab this, I also see this. That is skimming. And the next one is audio skimming. So if I hit shift and S, and now I go with my playhead over here, now everything is quiet. If I hit shift and S again, I can turn on audio skimming. Now I can listen to the audio while skimming through my timeline. There's also a new feature here for the multicam editing and it's basically you can now use the shortcuts one, two, three, four for switching multicam angles using the keyboard shortcuts one, two, three, and four. Very simple. I don't have a multicam clip right now, but you can use now the shortcuts here as well. You can now use shortcuts for turning the jog wheel on and off. So for example, it's this icon here on the top. If I click this, it's on, it's off. If I hit shift, control, and W, I can turn it on. If I hit it again, shift, control, W, I can turn it off. If you're using the jog wheel, you can now very fast switch between those two modes here by just hitting shift W. Now I'm in playhead modus, now I'm in nudge modus. And overall they did a couple of bug fixes for stabilization so that the program should work now more smooth. Now they also fixed some issues with custom fonts that you used in the iOS. Now you can actually use all of them. I hope you liked this video. If yes, hit like, subscribe, dingle dingle the bam bang gong. And we still have a waiting list for Final Cut Pro. There will be a course coming out. Everyone who is on the waiting list will get a 50% discount. So check out the link in the description. I'm Daniel and we see us in the next video. Bye.